Hey, hey! Uh, hi, ho! I am Igra Glass, and today we have special day, day when we will know the all answers to the riddles. What's inside of the wagons? Premium wagons, commander wagon, warlord wagon, and dragon wagon. So, guys. Uh, we are super top streamers, we are top community and developers, they provided us some games for an experiment, f not for just for something, experiment, because nobody knows what's inside of these wagons, we could only guess, I didn't ever try to buy it, I do not know. All my crystals I always spend on gold, because you always lack of gold. Because you need to pay a lot of uh, money to your troops. Salaries, they have very high salaries. So, yes, but it's time to buy something for us. We should love ourselves and give us presents sometimes. So, I'll buy some wagons, starting with a command and also for the top, the best of the best dragon. And also we will, uh, today we will go to new stuff. We will go for bounty hunt. I'll give some advice about it. Because uh, I already uh, reached Arcane Desert. It's very hot there. So maybe some advice will be useful for you too. So uh, let's do it. Let's get our first wagon. Commander's Wagon, it's uh, quite, no, I wouldn't say cheap, but not expensive, 650 games, and it has nice circle window, I think there is a halfling inside, Hobbit you could say, hi, Bilbo Baggins inside of this wagon, so let's take a look, 805 shards inside, hmm, I'll use my touch screen, of course, okay, first, Shield bears, not a one shield bear, but 188, which which is good thing because I actually collecting shield bears. So I ask my clan mates for shield bears quite often because I'm trying to get them till level 12. So now it will be much easier. Spires, crystal spire. <laughs> it's vice versa. My clan mates, <laughs> almost everybody, collects. Uh, crystal spires so I'll be able to share them because right now I I'm not planning to uh, level up them so yeah I'll share with with, with, with my friends murder of crows actually this is one of the best troops right now people they often underestimate this uh, crows but what their main strength it's stun and it's super effective unit they could you could make them almost in invincible if you add block rune um, they will uh, stay for the end of the battle and they will be killed last so they're very very good um, shard plague your throwers classic 12 it's all right uh what i could say they kind of sit in meta for eternity you always want to slow down your enemy units, slow down their attack at 50% and their speed. It's perfect. Brute. It's our friend in countering, uh, countering uh, swarms, of course. So undeads and death knights, they fear Brute very much. Battle Drama, it's uh, <laughs> vice versa friend of every uh, swarm build. So melee builds, they love battle drama. Spider nest. Actually, I have a plan for a long time. I want to show you the deck. I tried to construct it several times and it worked by sometimes, uh, I mean, corner with spider nest, which will shoot with a pylon uh, a lot of stuff to your enemies. I want to try it, so yeah, it's a good thing. That we have and oh my god i damn beast it's perfect actually I, right now my main deck is untamed beast deck uh, as i said in my previous video so 
in next video I'll make guide about pure nature deck with Untamed Beast. So yeah, it's good that soon we will be able to get it to level uh, 9 because it's kind of main unit for nature deck Untamed Beast. So guys, it was Commander's Wagon, what I could say, not bad at all. Quite useful stuff we got inside and even mythic, so what I could say, it's definitely a good thing. And now, Warlord's Wagon, yay, encrusted with gems, Golden Wagon, where we will have 144 guaranteed rares, well, rares. It means that actually we could get much more. So among these 2,104 uh, 2, shards, we could get lots of mythics, lots of anything, but it's guaranteed that you will have these rares, even if you're really unlucky. And this cost almost 2,000 gems. So yeah, this is quite expensive, but for 2,000 shards, okay, let's check it. What's inside? Okay, eight different troops. 18. First druid, uh, which uh, is super popular right now. A lot of people even they use not a one druid, but I saw even decks with three druids. Three druids and untamed beast, something like this, and it works actually. <laughs> so I also use it. Uh, draining spirit, uh, which were buffed in one of the past updates and now uh, people use draining spirit sometimes actually it's very often when you use it in um, new uh, riddles in daily skirmishes you could use it so and also in uh, he uh, head hunt yeah so warhounds uh, i have it in my nature deck arcane archers but a lot of them i mean 400 arcane archers you could uh, get it to little level eight i think with this amount it's a lot okay uh rare shard ember fiend ember fiend i i i'm not ember field a uh, guy but some people they like him but yes for head hunt i use it i use it so i even level up it to level uh, nine because sometimes you take it so Okay. Ah, Sal Pylon, it's always a dream. You can't have too much Sal Pylon uh, shards. Yes, because it's kind of... I was uh, quite lucky to collect it to level 11 because I worked on it. I I requested my clan for these shards like for, for two months <laughs> and eventually I level up it to level 11. So yeah, it's possible to do it. But yes. Right now I uh, give away them for my clanmates because you see I it's all, all you always lack of them so it's a really good thing. Uh, Frost Wizard, you see we have eleven more, eleven more different units and all of them it seems it will be rare or not. We will see. Okay, Frost Wizard, yeah, almost every deck got it. Very op thing. Valkyrie, yeah, actually uh, right now I'm asking. Uh, shield bearers or valkyrie so right now i'm trying to get valkyrie to level 12 why mm. because this is kind of this always will be useful thing so it's always will be in meta it's always you will use it in headhunt so it's the most versatile the most useful thing ever you could even heal your untamed beast with valkyrie it's not so easy but it's possible so yeah i am trying to get it to level 12 and maybe even to level 13. so i i mean it's my favorite it's my favorite unit in game valkyrie yeah <laughs> i love him uh and some more plague throwers classy ah barrier monk yeah all want barrier monk when, when you just start to play uh, battle legion it's your dream and it's what you trying to get to level eight first firstly so yeah it's good advice actually for if you just started to play try to get barrier monk to level eight it's a very solid unit 
almost almost always it you will use it in head hands even if you play some different deck it's super super useful thing to have it big brute bro hi bro some more spider nest oh my god some more 57 <laughs> okay guys we will make a corner build with it i promise thorn guards i actually just recently i all always i had thorn guards level six i didn't play with them never but recently there was new skirmish which was quite impossible to complete without thorn guard so i had to level up them till level nine so yeah and i completed this skirmish so yeah for skirmish you always want to have something even if you do not use something you you will need it ah uh, uh, yes earth elemental 90 90 shards guys <laughs> what i could say <laughs> this is like four knocks great uh what i could say it's my the only unit which i have level 12 it's earth elemental it's the first level 12 unit which i made i also requested a lot of shards for him because yeah it's the best tank in the game so you want him because he has uh, total hit points of uh, him and his uh, small um, children they are the biggest so it's the best tank always nice to have it. assassins recently i started to use assassins i tried it several builds with them i always i i'm not assassin guy in the past but recently after a skirmish came i started to use assassin i level up them also i think from level five to level uh, nine because uh, yeah for skirmish they are very useful i even have two packs of assassins level nine and level six and they work quite good what i could say and i trying i'm trying to learn how to use them in regular meta quite quite hard actually to make them verticile but yeah they're definitely uh, useful in skirmish battle drama yeah it's uh, not only for it's not only for uh, swarms but also for anti swarms so if you have troubles to defeat swarms get battle drama and swarms will uh, crush upon you like a water upon a rock ah yes two and two Do it something i mean yeah three more and i'll even i think at this uh sunday i'll be able to request my clan mates four more and yes we will get and then beast to level level nine it's my uh, I it's what I use right now in meta. It's my deck. Next time I'll show it. And mine character, yes. Uh, I'll share it to my clan mates. I also use it sometimes, but I mean, it's the most often people ask uh, mind character upon uh, Sunday clan requests. So it's the most popular unit. Everybody lack of them. So after I get level eight, le uh, level eight, I started to give away it so yeah i'll give it away oh it's it was quite a lot quite a lot of things you see we have even uh, plenty of mythics so nice very very nice wagon but what about the biggest the most powerful wagon ever dragon 40 40 guaranteed mythics oh my god it's fox it's just impossible to, to imagine 40 <laughs> i mean uh, who knows what we will get there and uh, 168 uh, rares and almost 3000 unit shards total i mean actually we could even we have chance one percent chance to get <laughs> uh, all of them could be mythics you know <laughs> if we will be very lucky okay or if we will be unlucky we will get this guaranteed stuff so it's, it's solid let's open it six thousand gems oh my god let's do it okay 20 20 shards inside this dragon bring to us freezing trap 600 <laughs> freezing trap <laughs> i already had uh 2000 almost 3000 i had okay what i could say uh, freezing trap i use it in skirmish 
all the time. I mean, for skirmish it's must have, for headhunt also useful thing, and even for some meta builds, for corner corners, they love freezing traps. So it will be useful. Arcane blades, what I could say, guys, and gulls. This is the most op unit right now. The most powerful unit in the game right now. It's, it's a secret, it's arcane blades. So this unit, it's very tanky, it's very useful, you could kill swarms with it, you could make unbeatable swarm with it, you could destroy corners, destroy pylons, destroy spires, so arcane blades, they're the best. Yeah, of course, uh, the best, uh, they are in swarms, yeah, <laughs> so, very good thing to have it. Uh, wraiths, wraiths, what I could say, uh, some people, they like bombs bomb bots so you could bomb you could put the bomb and it will destroy something but actually you could use wraiths because for example one uh, one squad of wraiths will destroy untamed beast did you know it uh, so they make huge damage and they're invisible so uh, very cool thing and but you need to learn how to use it and very good school it's new head hunt because there are a lot of quests, how to use wraiths, you will learn them. Yes, okay, my, finally I'll upgrade my shield bears, I'll do it right now. So first thing which I'll do today, I'll upgrade my shield bears to level 12. I waited for it, guys, <laughs> I waited for it for four months, mm, or maybe five, how much I play, I do not know, I mean, a lot. So folks, we will do it, we will upgrade it today. Valkyrie, 24 shards for Valkyrie, so we're almost, we're almost there to make it level 12 also. S yes, I, I love healing. Healing is bread and butter for every deck. Barrier Monk, oh my god, 72 Barrier Monk shards, it's a lot, it's a lot. I mean, it's like, uh, you, you would uh, request, uh, 10 times you will request this shard from your clan mates. And you will get it just from here, from one pack. Fun. Uh, battle drama. 60 battle drummers. Solid. Like orchestra. <laughs> Earth elemental. Uh, not much, 12, but still. <laughs> oh my god, huge squad of assassins. 60. Nice. Classic plague throwers. In COVID, it's especially. Um, something, 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 uh, what I could say, on, on the edge, you could say. Frost Wizards, oh yeah, I want to make them level 11, yes. Thong Wards, one day. Oh, nice, nice, Battle Wagons, and I could upgrade it, yes. I already uh, could do it, but what I could say, it's not too stable unit. But in skirmish, it's uh, all quite often I use uh, I use it because we know where to put it. So for skirmish, it, ma it makes very e easy to go through them with this stuff. Ah yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Finally, I'll okay. Now I have a dilemma. I do not. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I'll <laughs> first thing which I'll upgrade it will be untamed beast, and then. Then, then we will upgrade shield bears first and then beast because it's kind of what, what, what I love the most right now. Oh, nice! Monster Hunter. Yes, recently I just um, got extra shards from regular wagon, daily wagon. I got some Monster Hunter shards. So now we have more, more of them. And this, this is awesome. Ancient tree. I use it. I mean, I am one of the very rare people who like this uh, unit. Yeah, it's quite, mm, I wouldn't say it's weak, but it's very specific. I mean, it's even something, you know, not much people, they use uh, wagon, not much people use tr uh, freezing trap. It not, and I think the very mi minority of people, they use ancient tree, and I am one of these people, because right now I am playing pure nature deck, so what I could say. It's, it's good, it's a good thing if you place it to the right spot, it's not obvious, 
I'll tell about it in the next video. Okay, stone collar. Just recently, fine. It was the, it was the last unit which I had trouble to make it to level eight. I wasn't lucky to get shards for storm collar, so I, from level seven to level eight, I had to ask a lot of shards from my clan mates. Yeah, now we got some more. So this is the best DPS in the game. What what I could say, just the best DPS. Uh, huge DPS, AOE DPS. And the only counter, it's, uh, of course, Witch Hunter, yeah, so, solid thing. Death Knight, <laughs> I do not play this Death Knight, as you could see, I have still level 7 Death Knight, maybe one day I'll go Dark Necromantic Path, but for now, uh, I mean, you always try, one day you, you try something new, when you just board with your uh, current deck you go with uh, something new so i think that night will go for dessert i'll i think <laughs> i'll play it maybe next in 2021 i'll play with that night i hope 2021 will be better year than 2020 let's hope that that night <laughs> in 2029 will be <laughs> our lucky friend okay nice some catapult catapult is good thing especially for skirmish i mean i showed in my one of the past guides ultimate de deck with catapult with which you could destroy anything if you will be a bit lucky you just could roll a bit and eventually you will go through any any skirmish and the last the last mythic shard i think it's mythic and it will be something special what do you think i hope so let's check it paladin Okay, eight, um, four Paladin Shards, not the best thing, but actually Paladin, they're very powerful, I mean, uh, they're, de they're healing based, uh, based at their damage, and it's very solid thing, it's a good, good, good unit, but it's good f together with Death Knight, and I'm not playing Death Knight for now, well, I could say, it was fun, and yeah, Dragon, Fire, Dragon Wagon is my favorite for now, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So, guys uh, and girls, folks, everyone, everybody, let's now uh, make some bounty hunts, and I want to start with this one. It's first, it's second time when I met it, and I had, I just break my head off. How to solve it? Heal two different shield bears with a Valkyrie in one battle. Uh, what I could say, it's super hard to do. But I'll tell you the secret. For example, we will put uh, a lot of stuff, a anything what you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Actually, it's just almost impossible to do. Almost impossible to heal two different shield bears. Why? Because the shield bear which you will heal, he will die last because he is healed. You see? So. Uh, very soon all shield bears will die and the last one uh, you see he has full health the answer to this secret <laughs> it's not obvious at all i mean what i wh what i love about new uh, bounty hunt i call it, i call it head hunt the cool thing that it's kind of riddles it's okay some of these new quests it's yeah it's kind of quests you would complete just with a brute force or with uh, some luck but some of them they are riddle so heal two different shield bears with valkyrian wild beat battle but guys what if we will just use two valkyries so to create level one valkyrie it's to spend 100 gold and one shard it's nothing i mean yeah everybody could uh, make it and then we could solve this we could solve this uh head hunt <laughs> so, yeah I, I break my head upon it uh, until i understood how to solve it so what i could say uh today we opened a lot of yeah and we, we could already end it you see mm, today we opened a lot of uh, wagons we got a lot of shards 
And don't be afraid, even if you didn't bought this dragon wagon, don't afraid to put some more units uh, for your army. Don't afraid to make some more level one units. I mean, they are very useful for completing headhunt. Um, and they, it doesn't cost much. I mean, just one shard and 100 gold and you could okay of course you would level up it but yeah some units uh, it's fun to have a lot of them for example i always played with one assassin i mean almost almost didn't play but in skirmish now i cr i have two of them you see i even put uh, the uh, good uh, yeah i i it's what i had at that time uh, i had to put this Power stone. So some people even uh, they have three assassins. Th with three assassins, it's even easier to go through skirmish. So yeah, don't afraid to put some more stuff. Uh, by the way, uh, kill barrier monk with rising warriors. It's one of the most hardest quests for arcane desert. Um, if you tried it, it's hard because barrier monks stick to a other unit. So you just need to brute force. You need to a lot of. You need to get a lot of rising warriors. Uh, you could also use it like once by, by one. Get a lot of uh, squads. It's quite cheap thing to have. Uh, and just uh, roll it a few times. So yeah. So I just uh, wanted to give you some advice about bounty hunt, which is very fun thing to go. I hope this video was fun for you to watch and we discussed some of uh, units and their properties and also uh, got a lot of cool stuff and it's time for upgra upgrade the most ple pleasant the most pleasant thing I'm still getting used to new interface yeah I want to level up this guy yeah you see I use it him uh, resistance 50% it's not much but still better than nothing and berserk upgrade yay you see we have 1000 uh, more hit points and also 10% more attack it's quite important thing to have and also what I want to, to, to do it's uh, to upgrade my shell bears but 35 gold it's quite a lot. I'll try to uh, get to open to buy 5000 deal. So, yeah, I'll just uh, wait a bit for it. Folks, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel at YouTube. And see you in my next uh, video. Next time we will have guide about secret full nature deck. Bye bye.